Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of adult age, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave. This is my channel, Dave's Empire, 1981. It's been a couple months. Took kind of a break. Opened up a few things off camera. But I felt it was time to get back into it and make videos and entertain myself by unboxing things and hopefully entertain you as well. Today we have the Dinosaurs Earl Sinclair from NECA Toys. You got the picture on the front. Dinosaurs Earl Sinclair on the side. We Say So, the company that he works for on that side. The bottom, the back, you can see the different accessories. So far there's Earl Sinclair and Baby Sinclair. Just recently there was Earl Sinclair um, in a work outfit. So take a look, for, look out for that if you uh, like them. The Sinclairs are your average family with one big difference. They're talking dinosaurs living in the year 60 million and 3 BC. Jim Henson's Creatures for Dinosaurs made this early 1990s show a comedy hit that's still certifiably fresh. Now you can bring home a little bit of the Jurassic with NECA's detailed action figures. Earl Sinclair is the patriarch of the original reptilian prehistoric nuclear family and all-around good guy. Includes TV remote, six-pack, captain's hat, fern hill mug, interchangeable head and hands. Let's flip the box open. You get a full product shot there. You get a look at them inside there. Very cool. The goofy face, the smiling face, lots of hands, his tails in the back there. Let's just get to opening it. What do you think? Let me get my knife out. And yes, I'm going in through the top because that's always how I do it. set that aside carefully because I don't want to stab myself on my first video back. Leave that for the second one. Let's see. Oh, he is a chunker. Heavy, heavy boy. There's a little bit of the, the background in there. You can kind of see it. It's like the uh, house he lives in. Set that down there. Good lord, this thing is heavy. Let's start out by getting his tail off the back here. <laughs> it looks like he's pooping. I'll do that carefully because I don't want to damage the figure or myself. Looks like a big grub. I'm going to set that down there. Let's get accessories out first. Perhaps not. Dump all the hands out. Yeah. What do you guys think of the new background? It's gonna change. That was difficult. 
most of the figures that you can see, if not all of them, will be opened. Pack in his mug. Now let's get this big hunk of chunker out. There's that one. I don't know if you could see it just now, but there's a freaking fly flying around here. It is super irritating. Gotta cut with precision so we don't damage my figure. I think that's all of them, so I'm gonna get the blade put away because blade safety. Oh. Damn, that's a big boy. Put that down there. All right. Let me adjust the height of the camera. So we can all see what we're looking at here. Since I have him in my hand right now, we're going to go over him first. A little bit of plastic rub there. Like I said, he is a chunky, chunky boy. Got a ball joint there. You know, wide range, like a sumo wrestler there. Let's get his tail attached. How about that? Ball joint or ball peg to tail thing. I think that's in there. Didn't seem like a firm connection, but it is what it is. This guy looks good. It feels good in hand. The tail is segmented. There's four segments to it. Look like they're all on different uh, balls. Eh, balls. Get a pretty good uh, range of motion out of it. I like that. There is rotation in the middle. That's pretty good. Just a good pivot there. You saw the hips. You can arrange them forward and back a little bit. The knees. Not a lot of range there. The ankles. Forward and back. Pivot. Bit of plastic or well, yeah, there we go gone fucking flies oh there's my cuss word for the video stiff ankles that's all right we don't want them leaning too far forward so let's adjust the legs back a little bit there you go if you get it just right, he will stand without the tail touching the table. But if you're unsure of your posing ability. There we go. Check out the range in the head there. Pivots around, all the way around. A little bit of down. No real up to speak of. I like the texture on them. 
She's kind of got frilled ears there. I like the pattern on the uh, flannel. Stiff shoulders. Take it about to about there. Really only gets up about there, but then again, you don't need full all the way around every time. A little flake of paint just came off of the elbow there, but you know, it's an elbow. It's gonna happen once in a while. It comes with the uh, tickle it um, hand. Hmm. Don't know what you would call that, but it looks like a tickle it hand to me. Maybe a bowling ball? I don't know. The other uh, side does the same. Not the most elegant elbows, but they look like the flannel shirt. So, like a cuff. So it works. Actually, I think that one. Yeah. I think it's probably facing a little bit the wrong way. I don't know. It's got tickle it hands on both sides there. There we go. There's him. Let's look at the other hands. His right hand, the uh, grab hand. Left hand is a pointy hand. He's got a grip hand for the left. A grip hand for the right. There's that flick of paint I was telling you about. And a remote control hand, I suppose. And a point hand for the left, or for the right as well. There's the remote control. I'll zoom you in on that. There you go. It's pretty neat. I dig it. The six pack of lava lager. That's pretty cool. You could probably, yep. You can just slip one out so you can put it in one of his hands. Let's see. Not that hand. Unless you just want it loose. Edge fell right on the floor. I'll get that later. There's the mug. That's super cool. I dig that quite a bit. Here's the hat to go on his head. There's a rest right up top. We'll get to that in a minute. There's the expression face. Hey everybody. Would have been cool if it had uh Adjustable eyes, maybe. But he's looking a little bit to the to the left, his right. That's all right. I'm gonna zoom back out. So again, I'm gonna pick up the beer can before I forget. Let's see where it goes. there it is. I'll reattach that to the six pack. There. Awesome. So we are going to switch the heads. After we put the hat on, it's sculpted. It has a notch there. Sort of. Let's see, is it head specific? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. 
Well, that's probably about how best you're going to get there. Kind of squeeze the fins inside there. I think I dented it or it's got a little, got a little catch in there. Let's get this one off. That popped off easy. Big ball peg in there. Articulated jaw would be fun. All right. <clears throat> Let me come off camera for a second and make sure I got it on there. There we go, he's on there. I don't know, I think I like the uh, the other head more. Yeah. I'm going to put that one back on. Because I like it more. That's the fun part about uh, alternate heads. Whichever one you individually like more, that's the one you have. Let's see, where's mug holding hand? That's what that is. That's awesome. We're going to put his mug holding hand on there. That came out nice and easy. What are your guys' memories of the show? Were you big watchers of it in the 90s? I enjoyed it at the time. I had a t-shirt of the sun for some reason. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Don't know where that shirt went, mind you, but that the remote hand. Yeah, that's a remote hand. Nice. That's cool. I feel like that would eventually pop out, so I won't display it with the remote in his hand. But let's see. What do you think, guys? I like him like that, drinking his coffee in the morning, chilling. Yeah, you know, that's a really cool figure. I like it quite a bit. I'm glad I finally picked it up. I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this uh, review of Earl Sinclair. What do you think of the figure? Do you dig it? Is it, a, is it a pick up for you? It is, is it not a pick up for you? Tell me all the things. Deuces. <laughs>